In this example, we're going to find the exact area of the surface area attained by rotating the function that you see there between or where x is between 0 and 9. And we're going to take that region and rotate around the x axis. Okay. So let's, um, so what I do is just try and get a visual here of what's going on. So I'm going to sketch the uh, graph. Okay, so the graph of this, it looks like the, the square root of 1 plus e to the x. So it's going to look something like this. So when x is 0, it's going to be, um, the y-intercept will be 0 square root of 2. So Okay. Okay, so let's call this the y-axis and the x-axis. Okay, we're going between 0 and, and 9. All right, so that's, there's our region um, between 0 and 9 and the, the, uh, the function and the x-axis. So we want to, so we're going to find the surface area of this region, of this volume here. So I'm just going to sketch it out roughly. Okay. And there's our function, okay. y equals to square root of 1 plus e to the x. All right, so that's that's the kind of the rough you know, picture of what this volume looks like after rotating that region around the x-axis. So we're going to find the surface area of this. So just recall, the surface area is equal to the uh, 2 pi times the integral from a to b of the radius, uh, they represent a piece, okay, for whichever for whichever value x times the square root of 1 plus the derivative of f. Okay, so r of x, r of x is here somewhere, let's say. So that's simply uh, that's just going to be the function value. And then we need the derivative. We need the derivative of f. Okay, so we need to find the derivative of our function. So let's do that down here. Okay, so recall that this is just 1 plus e to the x to the power 1 half. So therefore the derivative of this is just going to be applying the power rule along with the chain rule. Okay, so we're going to have 1 half times 1 plus e to the x times negative 1 half times the derivative of 1 plus e to the x, which will give us e to the x. So that's going to give us uh, e to the x. We can rewrite this as e to the x over 2 times the square root of 1 plus e to the x. All right, so that's the uh, derivative of f. So plugging in r, so plugging in our r of x and the derivative, we're going to get so it's going to be two pi times the integral. We're going between um, zero and nine. Okay, that's the domain for this uh, for this region. So r of x is going to be one plus e to the x times the square root of the derivative squared. So I'm going to go ahead and just square it. So this is going to give us e to the 2x divided by 4 times 1 plus e to the x. Okay. So just remember, when you square e to the x, you get e to the power 2x. Okay. And then you square 1 half because you 1 fourth here. Okay. So from here, it's just a matter of simplifying 
and then taking the integral okay so we have a so what we can do in this case um, ideally we want to get we want to try and get this value into the square root we want to get this into some kind of perfect form like right, perfect factor factor here and then hopefully from there we can simplify it so we have 1 plus e to the x square root of that and then I want my common denominator is 4 times 1 plus e to the x so then from there we can uh, we're going to get 4 plus 4 e to the x plus e to the 2x divided by that common denominator okay so all I did all, all I did was for one just write 4 times 1 plus e to the x over 4 times 1 plus e to the x and therefore you can combine these two okay you could put everything under one denominator okay and then let's, let's see what we have here um, Okay, so what we can do, uh, we have the square root of one fourth. I can we can take that out. That's going to give us one half, and then that's going to leave us with a one over square root of one plus e to the x. So we have two pi over two times one plus e to the x over square root of one plus e to the x times the square root of 4 plus 4 e to the x plus e to the 2x okay so this part here this part it turns out to be uh, we can factor we can factor that into a perfect form it's a perfect square so let's before we do that let's simplify it so we have pi times the integral from 0 to 9 this is just 1 Okay, so then, um, so this is underneath the square root. We can rewrite this as uh, e to the x plus 2 squared. Okay, so then that's going to work out nicely. So we have the integral from 0 to 9 of taking the square root of this, you get e to the x plus 2. And then, so integrating this, you're going to get the integral of e to the x is just e to the x. And then we have integral of 2, which is 2x. Evaluate this from 0 to 9. Um, so therefore, we're going to get pi times e to the ninth plus 18. And then plugging in 0, e to the 0 is 1. And then... Right, and then two times zero zero, so we end up getting e to the ninth. Let's see, let me write that a little bit better. So that's going to be e to the ninth plus uh, seventeen times pi. So that is the uh, that's the exact the answer uh, for the uh, surface uh, area of this of this region getting revolved around the x-axis, okay?